hello everyone the today video is about how to align the multiple variables at once how you can select multiple variables and apply some conditions on it at once don't you don't need to manually do the things because you have a lot of variables like me right this one this one and this one and yes so how can i uh, i want to align them into one line so how i can do this I don't I am not going to do this manually like uh, this uh, and like this so what is the shortcut so how you can do this so let's go here and uh, apply the shortcut so uh, you need to press ctrl plus d ctrl plus d d and uh, uh, you need to put a space here a backspace and then give a space so now these variables are aligned into one line so it's easy to read these variables right so now let's click on this and uh, move them into one line also and let's go here and uh, align them step by step okay i will meet you after a few minutes okay so i'm doing this you know once okay 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 and let me select all of the ones Okay, give it a space and yes now we align them into one line so let me select these all and align them like this right so let me align them into a, into a same sequence so now these are aligned so I aligned them into one line right so by uh, selecting the variables and now these all variables are aligned one line and they are working perfectly so now i want to pass them into the compact method or uh, whatever you use like uh, uh, array to pass their view right so i'm going to uh, add them here in the compact method okay so how you can do this so let's copy the variables let's same copy the variables i know because uh, i know uh, i need to remove this dollar sign from this compact method because i'm doing it in the compact okay so here i need to paste these variables and now let's start work on it so first i need to remove these dollar sign so click on uh, select the dollar and press ctrl d d d and it will select uh, all the dollar sign so let me select uh, you need to uh, take eye on it because we are not going to select uh, any other dollar signs it will not going to work it will uh, oh oops i lost my tooltip so let me uh, dd again so you need to take eye on it to uh, complete this because uh, otherwise it will override all your dollar sign so uh, click on backspace and then put a single quotation here so now we added the single quotation here right so now the time is to add a quotation at the end of this variable so let's select the select this one like and control d d d and uh, let me select all of the one okay i selected these variables like here and now these all variables are selected so let's click on backspace and let's click on this uh, single quotation and now these uh, variables are set and we need to put a comma here so let's type comma and yes these all variables are now successfully passed so it means that we uh, did uh, we saved a lot of time because we need to manually go to the top copy the variable paste it here and stuff like that so uh, you can uh, apply the shortcuts and uh, get rid of them right so uh, let me explain my project uh, maybe i'm doing this in a wrong way so you can suggest me that so what's the wrong and how to improve this code so uh, let me go to the top and uh, i am first getting all these butd bet types right so i'm finding the type and then i'm defining i have 
मल्टीपल वेरिएबल्स लाइक टोटल बेट्स टोटल बेट ऑफ टू डे टोटल बी टी डी फोर्टी एट आवर्स सेवन आवर्स ट्वेंटी एट एंड स्टफ लाइक दैट राइट एंड देन हेयर आम फर्स्ट चेकिंग दैट दिस बेट इज रिटर्न आर नाट इफ दिस इज अवेलेबल आर नाट सो देन आई एम गोइंग टू पास दीज वैल्यूज टू दीज वेरिएबल्स वाई आई क्रिएटेड द ग्लोबल वेरिएबल्स बिकॉज इफ something not found here so it will not uh, assign to this variable and in the compact it will say that uh, undefined variable so that's why i made the global variable so i define this for all types like jdb dym and stuff like that so hope you understood this uh, concept and if you are uh, if you have some more tips about how to improve uh, this logic or this variables so shoot in the comments and if you are more interested to learn about laravel so subscribe the youtube channel and i'm shooting the videos almost daily and i'm also uh, uh, playing around with the laravel tips and upload the tips on each friday so thank you i will meet you in the next one bye